Now we have John Nelson, president of TDK Americas, to give us another perspective on power conversion from one of our supplier partners. Hey John, so I imagine you must meet a lot of engineers on a daily basis. What are some of their concerns relating to power and power management? It's true, Grant. There are many challenges when it comes to power, and that creates a lot of opportunity for us. The main challenges are coming because there's new and expanding markets when it comes to power. Anything from you know, a mobile, mobile telephone to solar energy to DC-DC converters for electric vehicles or battery electric vehicles. And TDK plays in all of those areas. Uh, the main issues are you know, converting more power uh, in a smaller package or smaller footprint, uh, striving for higher and higher efficiencies in a smaller package, and of course doing those things in a wider variety of conditions. That makes it tougher. And we want to do all of that while trying to minimize EMI radiation, which is a major problem, but also a major opportunity for us. And finally, you have cost. Cost is always uh, a challenge and that's a given. How's TDK addressing those concerns? As I mentioned, those challenges create an opportunity for a broadband passive component supplier with materials expertise like TDK. The synergy of TDK and EPCOS makes us the global leader in power-related products. In response to market demand, we've utilized our higher frequency magnetic and dielectric materials to create new TDK inductors and, for example, new high-speed Serolink capacitors with the EPCOS brand. We've done this with an eye towards better performance with wide band gap semiconductors like silicon carbide and gallium nitride. What trends do you see happening in power management and conversion? In power conversion, TDK plays in switch mode power supplies, inverters, and variable frequency drives. The trend is to push switching frequencies to higher and higher levels. This opens the door to lower capacitance and inductance, reduces size and power loss while increasing overall performance. So you can get reduced cost with more power density. We are shrinking our MLCCs and power inductors to support this trend. So when do you think new materials such as gallium nitride are going to become part of mainstream power conversion? And what's been the delay so far? Well, gallium nitride is on the way. Uh, and it is the main reason and the main driver for higher switching speeds that we just spoke about. The advantage of gallium nitride is that it can switch about a thousand times faster than standard silicon. And uh, why is it delayed? Well, some of the major IC players have already made significant investments in GAN. Uh, so once the cost comes down and the reliability is established, uh, we're going to see more of it. I think it will be mainstream in the next few years and it's a trend we're watching very carefully. So one of the topics we're focusing on in this installment of our Empowering Innovation Together program is energy storage and battery management. What do you think are the keys to the future in this area? Well, Grant, uh, Mauser's doing a great job in this area, and this is also an area where TDK is very strong. We already have a good customer base in different industry segments, including wind, solar, and I would include automotive in that as well capturing, storing, managing, and converting renewable energy sources is already big business for us. But at the same time, we've just scratched the surface, and this market is going to continue to grow. There are more opportunities for new products um, in the future on this, so stay tuned to Mauser.com for the latest.